Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Shovel, and I'm going to be playing some Modern Warfare 3. But before I get too into the gameplay, I just wanted to mention a few things. Um, to start off with, my first Shovel Creations video went up a few days ago, and I was pretty happy with the results that I got. I am still a very small channel, and not too many people know about me, so... I was very happy with the number of views I got so far. I think it's going to keep getting a little bit bigger, and a few more people are going to see it, but... I think I've got a really good start. I even got a couple subscribers off of that, so if you're watching this right now, welcome. Um, other than that, that's really all I had to say before this gameplay started, and if you've read the title, you could probably figure out that this is going to be a Moab gameplay. Now, if you saw my first video, I said that I wasn't really going to get too many of them, which, after I finished posting that, I kind of thought that I might have robbed myself of a bit of views and maybe a few subscribers, because... A lot of people nowadays get Moabs and they post it online, and it's not too hard to find on YouTube. So I feel like I kind of robbed myself out of people that want that level of play and are going to demand that. So I set out to try to get a Moab for you guys so that you could see what it looks like on my channel, uh, get a feel for the way I did it, and I did kind of some noob kind of classes. I had the Akimbo FMGs and that, but I was really struggling to get it with Specialist and I did quite a few tries at it, I wasn't really having much success, and I decided to change it up a little bit, and this is a gameplay of what I did. I actually didn't just get one Moab with this, I got a couple. And those other videos are going to go up at some point, but I don't want to post them all at once because I don't think I'm going to get a ton of these, but I know I can get them now and I'll be able to do them more in the future, so it'll be kind of more of a bit of a treat, because I'm not going to get a ton of them, I don't think I'm going to be posting them every week. So, I'm going to start off with this one, and I found out some unique things when I was searching for a way to get these a little bit easier, and I don't know how many people really know about the kinds of things that I did, but I think I'll probably make kind of like a how-to video on helping people to get Moabs, but I'm going to make it very in-depth so that it's not just for people that are really close and just maybe struggle to get that last couple kills and always died at the end. I'm going to make it really uh, in-depth so that I go talk about weapons, proficiencies, uh, attachments, I want to talk about perks, I want to talk about uh, your equipment, kill streaks, and I really want to go really in-depth with everything, even spots that you can stand to help you get more kills and be safer on the maps. And I want to make sure that it's really in-depth so that it'll help everyone out. Um, because certain times there are things that will happen that would kill you as specialists. Like right here, I run in here, and yeah, I'm using the Akimbo FMGs, and it's kind of newbie, but I pick up actually four kills right here. I took on four people. A few of them did have my, their back turned to me, but I managed to survive because I had a ballistic vest on. And I run right around here to grab another one. And I did actually have a friend of mine helping me out to also drop some ballistic vests around, and I throw it on my portable radar just to spot these people over here. And he takes out my vest, but because I had that, I lived through it. And I'm getting pretty up there already, and I'm a little bit nervous. I started off running around a lot, not worrying too much about dying, but for me, because this was my first one that I got, I was getting really nervous here, so I get a little bit more campy here. I do a little bit of running around still, I go up here, but overall I get a little bit nervous. I think I take one more trip out front, which is probably coming up right here. But I'm actually getting a little bit higher up in the kills now, and I really want to make sure I get this, so I'm being a little bit more cautious. I'm making sure I check to see if there's anyone showing up on the radar, and going over here, I think I pick up a couple kills just by looking straight down the lane here, and yes I do, this guy's gonna pop out right there, and no, actually it's an assist. But the interesting thing about this killstreak setup is that because it's support, it kind of makes you a little bit more likely to rush around at the beginning to get those early kills because it stacks up whether you die at first or not. And as you can see there, the UAV that I've got going on showed me where all those people were, so it really made it easy for me to spot them and pick them off without worrying about them getting me. And here I'm already out of ammo for my FMGs, so 
I'm looking for a new primary weapon and I spotted a uh, UMP there. It's not my favorite weapon, but I can kind of deal with it. And I'm just heading back to this building. I feel really comfortable over here. And I spotted someone on the radar down there, but my friend jumped down to go get him. And it's a good thing I didn't, because he died right after. But this is actually quite a long gameplay, and I don't think anyone maxes out the score. But... For the whole time here, I was getting nervous, I was worried, even though it does hit the 10 minute limit. You really have to always worry about when you start to get a little bit more campy, because you're going for the Moab now, and you can see that you're close, you know that you can get it from now, I don't know how many kills away I am right now, I think maybe about 5 or 6 or so, but when you get a little bit more campy and you're trying to make sure that you don't get that extra death, you really have to worry about running out of time, because I've got four minutes left, but if you just sit in a corner and wait for people to run by, there is still the chance that you won't find those five people, or that if you maybe show up on radar or someone just spots a gun barrel poking out that you could get killed like that. So you still, even if you want to hang back a little bit like what I'm doing here, I still keep moving around a little bit. I'm not getting to that point where I'm just sitting in a corner. I know there are a couple places where it's kind of tempting to sit down because, you know, you get maybe a scare or you get a little bit nervous. Um, here I'm dropping an extra vest just in case. And for me, I think I started hip firing a lot and not aiming down the sights as much. Number one, because I'm not as good with the UMP. I struggle a little bit more with aiming down the sights with it because I'm used to the MP7, it really bounces around a lot, and I really feel the recoil. So you'll see I hip-fire that guy there. I'm not a huge person for hip-firing. I do it a fair amount, just because I'm kind of moving towards that in closer range, because it seems to be really successful. But as you look here, I try to pick up these people, and I just don't get anything. I get a lot of hit markers, and I just don't pick up any kills there. And that grenade really scared me and I know I'm really close I'm watching these guys I get one of them there's another one and there is the Moab now I did not have hard light on and I died right after but really excited about this really happy and I get to call it in and the countdown going and it's gonna go and it's gonna pick up everyone because I don't think anyone left or anything I was really proud of this really happy with it this is not my first Moab but it is the first on my channel, and it is the first one I'm going to be posting. It's the first one I recorded. So I've gotten a couple in the past, but they were quite a while ago, and I think they were more luck than skill at that point. And, I mean, every Moab is a fair amount of luck. You have to hope that no one's going to get that lucky kill. No one's going to jump out or surprise you, that you have to be on top of it. You can, obviously, the better player you are, the less often that's going to happen. But... And here, this guy gets me. I think I die a lot right after the Moab just because I would know I was talking with my friend. I was talking about how excited I was, and I wasn't really paying attention to the gameplay anymore. Um, still picking up vests, though. Always pick up them. I never knew how good they were until I tried one for the first time. And I'm still going here. I think I still get a couple more kills. Yeah, I get this guy here. But overall, there's not too, too much that goes on now. I think I might pick up one or two more, but... I get a few deaths because I'm really just... The game's kind of done for me. I've got my victory, but I want to try to push it over the edge and get our team to win too. And I'm not going to spoil that for you just yet, but I put in a lot of effort to try to get those tags now. I'm trying to pick them up if I see them. Um, I do miss a couple here and there, just because I'm not paying super amounts of attention to... Uh, the gameplay right now, I'm actually just really excited that I actually finally got that Moab and got it on camera and got a chance to record it. And this stealth bomber, I saw it, I heard it, but there was just no hiding at that point. I think I was the only casualty from it, which kind of sucks, but there's nothing you can really do about it. I got what I wanted. I would have been really upset if that had happened earlier, like halfway through, and it had prevented me, but I think I really lucked out with not getting any of those dumb deaths, no one throwing random grenades, no one jumping around a corner with a shotgun. Um, I get this guy who, I get a payback kill on him, this is a weird assist that, I think I should have gotten the kill there, but you really can't complain. 
and this gameplay is done. I do a couple spins there, a little bit of a celebration, I'm very happy with it, but thank you for watching, and I hope you will watch my next Shovel Creations video. That should be going up in, I'd say about three or four days. It's not quite finished yet, but look forward to that, and I will see you guys later.